We're back in Oxford at Vaught Hemingway Stadium. Cool evening, crowd growing. We've got Ole Miss and Texas A&M. Everything that we've ever been through, not just this season, but our entire career has brought us right here tonight. It's brought us in this locker room. You're not here by accident. It's brought us to this opportunity tonight. Hey, we've been working our ass off, pushing this boulder up this damn hill. Hey, if you want to get that boulder over the hill, you got to strain. And sometimes it might try to roll back on your ass. But you know what? If you dig down deep and you push, you can get it over. But here's the most important thing. The most important thing to remember in all that is you don't got to push by yourself. You don't have to push by yourself. You got a whole team that's pushing with you. Hey, it's finally time to push that damn boulder over the hill. You understand that? It's time to do that. Mon on play action gets dropped. The O-line let two through. It's a loss of eight led by Sam Williams and the league's tackle for loss leader, Benito Jones. Mon has all day, but he sails it high. The Aggies would have to punt on their first possession and settle for a field goal on their second. So a 25-yard kick, little chip shot, it's on its way, and it is good. So the Rebels turn to their home run hitter to regain the lead. John Rice is going to hand it off, running left is Ely. Ely the freshman, 35, to 40, to 40, to 50, to the 45, 40, to the 30, to the 25, to the 20. They got an angle, and he breaks the tackle! He takes it in the end zone! Touchdown! Oh, man! We're going to the grill! Big play, Jerry and Ely, David. We talk about the fact when you put the ball in this guy's hands, he's always got an option of taking it to the house. Ely's 69-yard blast down the sideline sent the Landshark defense into a frenzy. He's looking for Osmer. Now he goes back and he throws it right to the other team. Intercepted by Ole Miss and Austrian Robinson. There's a snap. Being chased is behind the backfield. He's dropped at the 20-yard by the Rebels. Brought Jalen Julius from the offside, and he got there and finished the deal. Pressure coming. Mon can't escape. He's sacked for the third time. Let's go! Let's go! I'm going playing that guitar, baby. Let's do it! Yeah! Low snap. Mon recovers over the middle. Tipped and intercepted. An old miss takeaway by Dante Evans. The Aggies weren't being harassed by the red and blue defenders. It was a case of the almost, but not quite. And that one's leaking, and it misses wide right. But the Rebels were experiencing their own set of near misses. Now Plumley wants to throw, drops back, runs to his left, sets, fires, got a man wide open, he overthrows Braylon Sanders. Five wide, going deep again, and through the hands of Miles Battle. How many plays are y'all making right now? Because you're getting your chances over and over and over again. Plumley to throw, one-on-one, -on -one, near side. He's got more, and it's incomplete. And Texas A&M would seize the advantage late in the half. The Rebels will send three, and now bring a linebacker. It's passed down the middle to the 40. That's a big tight end. Turns gets up field the 45, the 50. 49 yard line. Quick pass far side. Caught at the 35 on an out route. Mon finding his rhythm. Osmond goes to a corner route and it's caught in the end zone for an Aggie touchdown on the outside. Kendrick Rogers. Coach Luke, you look at the scoreboard down seven to th or down three going into the half. Felt like you outplayed him for a lot of that first half. Yeah, we got to help our defense out. Some defense playing their butt off. They've been on the field too much. We had we had some opportunities to make some plays. We're just a little bit off. We got to get a got to get a rhythm going in the second half. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. We're talking about pushing that boulder up the hill. And what did I tell you? You don't have to do it by yourself. That's why we're a damn team. But remember this. Remember this. There are no shortcuts. There are no shortcuts, there is no magic wand, there is no special play. The Aggies had backed the Rebels into their corner to end the first half. Scotty Phillips and the Revs came out swinging in the second. 
He hands it up to Scotty Phillips. He finds a huge hole. Does he go? I told you. He go. Yep. Yes, sir. Phillips trying to break away. This tip on gets him 10 more. He that man. Thought for a moment he might take it to the house. That's to the 27 of Texas A&M. A 38-yard scamper for Scotty Phillips. Three-man rush, essentially. He'll lob it. And it is popped on the sideline by Scotty Phillips. What beautiful touch on the pass. He's got a beat to it. Either way. 2-4 two or 2-2, two two, but I want 2-2 two two to get. There's the snap and the handoff. Right side. Touchdown. Snoop Connor. Yeah. Straight ahead, Snoop Connor. Touchdown Ole Miss and the Rebels back in front. Let him put a drive together. Let him put a drive together. Good job, Scotty. You know what I would love for you to come play receiver. Great freaking catch. Looking to extend the lead, the hosts went back to their strength, the ground game. Fakes it to Phillips, runs to his right, looks downfield, takes off running. He is slippery, he is fast. There's the handoff off the right side. First down across the 45 and all the way down to the 40 goes Snoop Connor. Showing some power there, Richard the Young freshman with a good run to get the first down. After six consecutive runs, Plumlee's showing pass and he gets dropped. The ball came out, scooped up by AM. Aggies have it. It's Buddy Johnson, the former high school quarterback, and he'll take it the rest of the way. 63. With each team the struggling field. to find their footing offensively, everyone in the stadium knew one drive might change the entire outcome of the contest. From the 38, third down. And six, five wides for Texas A&M. Two to the right, the short side of the field, three to the left. Only a four-man rush. Mon's going to run the quarterback draw. He sees the opening. He's to the 30 and down to the 25. They run behind Weidemeyer, and they got a first down and more. Spiller, touchdown, Texas A&M. A Luke Logan field goal trimmed the lead to a one-score game. But a final grasp at victory would be just out of the reach of the Rebels and the visitors from Texas would leave with the ever-so-elusive SEC road win. One of the hardest things to do uh, as a coach is to stand in front of a group of young men that fought their guts out. We got four games left, we got an open date. Hey, we're gonna go get this thing right, and we're gonna go finish November. <coughs> they remember what you do in November. All right, so let's go finish strong. Hey, I don't have I don't have the words to take the pain away. I don't, I don't. You played your butt off. We came up short. That's all. That's all. That's all it is. Some things that we can do better. Let's go get it correct in the open date. Let's get healthy. Let's go finish this thing strong because you deserve that. But I love you and I'm proud of you. But stick together. You understand what I'm saying? Stick together no matter what. All right, I love you guys and I appreciate you. We got our back. Not everybody else uh, out of the locker room. So you know we just got to stay together. I feel like the defense did a good job. Hats off to those guys. I mean, I felt like we did a good job in the second half. We just got to find a way to win tough games down the stretch. Oh, uh, you know, it just it was frustrating because we thought we had some things there and um, just, didn't, uh, just didn't get it done when we needed to. That was a, uh, an unbelievable atmosphere tonight, and I'm grateful for everybody showing up, walking through the Grove. It was the best, uh, best it's been since I've been here. Um, and I, I'm grateful for that. I'm sorry that uh, we came up short.